Yeah. What's going on, Summer Gang? It's your boy Jay Summer Twitch TV, and we are here live for a new episode of Monday Night Turmoil. What's good, y'all? How are everybody doing? I hope everyone's having a lovely day today. All right, y'all. We ain't gonna waste no time. We just go ahead and get right into the show. You already know what's coming up. We got some, we got qualifying matchups. And then for the main event, we got the six woman battle royal to be determined the last spot inside the elimination chamber. And then we'll do the same thing on Insanity as well with the million dollar and the uh, Insanity world title. So, yeah, this is about to be. Uh, a good show. We definitely about to kick things off with Quinzel taking on Bree Bree, one half of the undisputed women's tag team champions. Yeah, that be the homie. The what to do, buddy? Is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, representing the family from Salem, Massachusetts. The professional Quinn Z. Barry CP, CPV, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome to the summer gang. <laughs> yeah, what it do, Brody? How you feeling? What's up? What's up? What's the word? What you up to? Oh, what's up, Shoe? What you doing, man? Welcome to the show. That's dope, Dobby. Hope you have a good time, bro, for real. You're my boy, Jester. What's the word, Brody? That's dope, Shoe. I appreciate you, Brody. Thank you so much. Oh, you just got home from having fun? All right, boy. Bro, it was too cold to take a pick in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> you good. You good, Jester. You good, bro. I appreciate you still. Hope you do like the shirt, though. Cool, bro. You no problem. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. It's solid. That's dope, bro. I I'm glad that you like the shirt. And then I didn't forget, I am going to get you a uh, shaker and everything else um, this week because I'm getting paid, so... I definitely got you on that. I ain't forget about you, Brody. All right, let's go ahead and get this kickoff match. Quinzel versus Bree Bree one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Quinzel got Bree Bree up with an Alabama slam. And a counter from Bree Bree. Try go for a kick. Quinzel with the counter. And a stomp to the arm. And another stomp to the arm. And is dead lifting her right up into the sky. Military press. 
It's not going after that ankle. And we, we definitely where the tape is is definitely going to get somewhat of a reaction. And now Quinzel lifting Brie up. Try to go for a suplex. Brie Brie able to counter that. And now delivering the punches to the face. She ain't done now. Those disrespectful kicks right to the face. And a kick to the back. Going up the top rope. I'll be in stream. I'll set up. All right. Dobby, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you, homie. I already knew you were going to lurk. One, two, and a kick out at two. And, ooh, hair pull, mat slam. Thank you for the lurk, too, Shu. I appreciate you. Stay on the knee, Quinn. Stay on that knee. Justin's definitely still giving coaching advice to his protege. Uh oh. Ooh! What a dominating slam. And uh oh, Quinzel now spinning around. Power bomb. One, two, and a kick out at two. So close. So close. Quinzel was this close. And now lifting her back up. Counter. And ooh! Gonna set up an arm drag. And now, what's Brie Brie thinking? Try to go for the insult to injury. Quinzel now. Ooh, throwing Brie Brie like a rag doll. And uh oh. With those stomps. Brie Brie now able to counter. Uh oh. Facing a drop kick to the face. And now, Brie Brie going up top. What's she thinking here? She hits the Sager twist. One, two, and a kick out at two. We really thought she had it, but she ain't got fully enough yet. Uh-oh, she's going to hit the insult to injury. It looks like she's going to try to go back up the rope. Is she going to try to hit that same move? Nope, she hits a splash this time. But she thinks that she might have it this time. Let's see if she does. Nowhere near Quinzel. Is she going to hit another splash? Two splashes in one go. One, two, and three. That's an upset. I am asking the same question. What just happened? That that is a major upset. We definitely gonna have to question some of that. But uh, all right, we're gonna go go ahead and move on to the next match. Mars to go one on one here against former one half. Of the of the undisputed women tag team champions, multi-time ICW Divas champion Moon Mizuki. See if Moon can do well in singles action, as she's been in tag competition for the longest of time. in singles competition it's been almost months since she's left the side of pink queen to focus on her individual career let's see if it'll work out for her.
And here she is. And from New York, the Princess. She has a lot of nicknames. The Lunar Empress. I don't know what other nicknames. I got to think of something. But Moon is definitely one of the top tier women in ICW by far. Multi-time ICW Divas Champion and an undisputed ICW Women's Tag Team Champion. No, no, no. You actually do have a match. You have a qualifying match against Nick Taro for the Elimination Chamber. All right. Mars. Moon. Let the match up begin. And Moon now. Well, what? What? What is wrong, bro? And Mars with a counter. And oh, Meteora. Now I'm done for. Why? I'm highly confused. Oh, elbow. Uh oh. Ooh. Try to go for DDT. Moon able to counter that one. Not a kick. Moon now. Huge kick to the face. And now Moon attacking the leg. Keeps attacking that leg. And Moon. Ooh. And there it is. The Lunar Combo. One. Two. And a kick out of two. Alright, what's Moon thinking here? Moon shot goes up top rope, but Mars. Mars just left the ring for what? I eat truck food bread. What? I said Nick Taro, not Tyrone. What are you talking about? <laughs> Try to go for a drop kick and Mars gets out the way. And Mars now, she sets it up. Jupiter's landing. One, two, and a kick out of two. I just realized these, these, they got planet names for their finishers or somewhat solar system. This is actually pretty funny. Mars now, Meteora. And oh, counter. And now Moon. Ooh, Moon setting up. Can Moon land it? Can Moon land it? Can she hit it? Lunar Eclipse! One, two, and a kick out at two. Drop kick to the back. And I'll try to go for the knee. Try to go for a drop kick. Mars able to step out of the way that time. And Mars, the backstabber. Set up into the rings of Saturn, but it's a rope break. One, two, and a kick out of two. Moon still in this match. Try to go for Frog Splash, and that did not land well. Oh, and suplex, one, two, and a kick out of two. Get to the back. Mm, 
Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, counter. Moon thinking right now. Oh, Piper's pit. Oh, she's going up top rope. And Lunar Eclipse for the second time. One, two. And three, Moon picks up the win. Here is your winner, the Princess. Moon picking up the win here tonight. Congratulations to the Lunar Empress picking up the win here. All right, we're going to move on to the next matchup. This is a qualifying match for the Million Dollar Championship Elimination Chamber. And we have Kendrick Ali, one half now of the new Turmoil Tag Team Champions as he's getting to take on Victor Green. Y'all still the longest reigning tag team champions. I don't think you should be depressed about that. And his opponent from Tulsa, Oklahoma, weighing in at 190 pounds, Victor Green. Ali versus Victor Green. Matchup starts. Let's see who's going to qualify for the million dollar chamber here. Struggle for Rolling Thunder and Victor Green able to dodge that one. Hits a splash. Ooh, kick to the back. 
A stone to the arm. Uh-oh. Oh. Ooh. With the green with a tackle and now attacking the head of Ka Ali. And now throwing those punches to the face. Ooh, get the hit. Yeah, oh, Victor able to counter. Ooh, hit to the back. And hit the second one. And, ooh, back two plates. Uh-oh. Now Ali now. Coming up with some quick maneuvers. Ooh. Back in control. Let's see what he's got. Uh-oh. Victor now with the kick. Oh, he's going in. Elbow. And now Ali with a counter. Ooh. Had him up, but Victor able to counter that one. Another tackle. Punches straight to the head. They're setting it up. I'm trying to go for green out, but Ali able to counter. Ooh, kick. But now Victor said he's not even done. Up on the top, what's he thinking here? No, looks like Ali was able to get back up in time. DDT. But now it looks like Victor is right here with it. Frog splash with the knees was up. Oh. Ooh, Russian leg sweep. I'm trying to go for the stomp. Oh. I'm trying to go for the double stomp to the chest. And now Victor able to counter. Now for the man, one, two, and a kick out of two. Oh. Ooh, and a huge punch. Kick to the back. Now Victor going back up the top rope. Try to go for an elbow drop and Ali able to roll that one out. And now Kendrick Ali going up the top rope. He hits the end of the finisher. Or the coup de gras, whatever you call it. Two. And a kick out of two. Looks like Victor might have an opening. He's going to take it. Frog splash. And it's a rope break. His foot had touched the rope. And oh, now Victor sending it back up. Can he land it? Green out connects. One, two, and three. Victor Green qualifies for the million dollar Championship Elimination Chamber. Here is your winner, Victor Green. Ali gave it all he got, but Victor Green at the end of the day found his inner awakening. Was able to get the match that he always wanted. Next match. Introduces two million dollar champions or four former million dollar champions in Sage and Flash Rebel going up against none other than multi time world champion, former uh tag team champion, and the former YouTube champion, and the likes of Ray. So, there's a lot of champions in this matchup, and all have held the world title before. So, what comes to mind when you see these guys? going against each other head on. One of them has to qualify for the million dollar championship chamber. We don't know who it will be, but this is about to be one heck of a banger.
is a triple threat extreme rules match making his way to the ring from new york weighing in at 238 pounds the superstar his opponents first from Providence Rhode Island weighing in at 275 pounds the anarchist Flash the Rebel Weighing in at 170 pounds, Demon Ray! The true demon awakens.
Sage, Flash Rebel, Ray. All former world champions are in this matchup. Let's see how this matchup goes. Sage being sent outside over the rope by Flash Rebel, but still hanging on. Flash Rebel right now. Hey, a core with Ray, Ray able to counter. And now Ray sending Sage into the corner. Now try to send Flash Rebel to the same location, but uh-oh. That's creating something. Oh, oh my God, hurting the legs. And now I'm putting that claw. Sage now. Oh, you're trying to send him over the outside. Sling blade. And lands with a drop kick to the side of the face. Turn the arm. And now here goes Ray. Ray with a DDT. That was quick. Sage able to break up the pin. Flash Rebel now rolling to the outside. And Ray, DDT. And now the chops. Sage with a counter, though. And he's going to go back in. Ooh, the kick. Oh. Ooh, the punch. Uh, ooh. Oh, I thought he was going to send him into the corner where Sage was, but... That did not work at all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Black Trouble's got a kendo. Ooh, he hits Ray on the back with the kendo stick. Now he drops it. And he overthrows Sage. Okay. 102 a fighter. Ray is just chilling right now. Hey, I'll see. And now Ray, now knowing the time is right, sends Sage into the corner. Sling blade. Drop kick to the side of the head. Elbow drop. Flash Rebel heading back to the outside to recover. And Sage and Ray are back at it once again. Uh oh. Try to go for the Coquina clutch. And, ooh. And Sage putting everything in his power right now. And oh my goodness, the quick strikes. And now here comes Flash Rebel heading back inside the ring. And oh my god, Sage is getting jumped. He's getting jumped a little bit. And oh, Ray now getting the hits from Flash Rebel. Sage now. German suplex. And you got him up. And Ray. Counter. And oh, baseball slide attacks the leg with Flash Rebel still standing. Oh my goodness. And now Flash got say I mean, got Ray up. And oh my goodness. And now, getting the weapon. Now Ray finally back up. But oh, Flash with the cutter. And uh oh. And Sage able to break the pin. And deep six. And it hits a cutter on Sage. This may be it. One, two, and a kick out of two. And a sling blade with a drop kick to the side of the face. And now Ray's got the baseball bat. Now hitting Sage with it. Uh oh. Ray now. Ooh! Kick to the back of the head. And oh. And oh, Ray able to counter it. And now Ray with 19 16. One, two, and a kick out of two.
And now Ray going up the top rope. Trying to go for the end. Flash able to roll out of some way of some sort. I don't know. The cutter now. This may be it. Sage breaks up the pin though. And now Sage. Sage. He's got a lot. He's got a lot. Coquina Clutch is locked in. Coquina Clutch is locked in. Flash with nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. It taps out. He taps out. Sage picks up the win and will head into the Million Dollar Championship Elimination Chamber match. Here is your winner, the Superstar. Congratulations to Sage picking up the win and he's going to head into Elimination Chamber to fight for the Million Dollar title. And here goes the other match. We have a Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules match now between Zorthron, Damian Black, Blank, and Twisted. Winner of this match will also move on to fight for the Million Dollar title in the Elimination Chamber. So, so far, we have Victor Green, Say, um, Shade, uh, I think Shade, and Azul. So we got those four now, and we still have two more spots with this match and the last match being Phantom against Logan. His opponents first from New York weighing in at 269 pounds the superstar
Missouri, weighing in at 200 pounds, Z. Damian Black, Twisted, Blank, Zorthron. One of these men is going to walk inside of that chamber. Who's going to qualify? Damian Black going at the Z and Twisted and Blank. They're like the tag team partners already trying to take care of business, but uh oh. It looks like Z and Blank are now changing things around here. Black Vision is in peril right now. Twisted Sam Black, I mean Twisted Sam Blanket to the ref. And now Damian Black. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like Blank on the top right now. Ooh, drop kick. It's like blank with a super kick. And a kick out. And it's like Twisted and Zorthra are now going against each other. Oh, 
Oh, Damian Black now rolled out to the outside. Oh! Twisted now going for the pin. Link breaks up the pin. Oh! Oh, and Blink able to counter that. Looks like Damian Black and Z are on the outside now fighting. Looks like this is going to try to get a weapon. Blank now on the outside. Kendo stick. Oh my goodness. Blank with a counter. Twisted now with a counter. And now Twisted sends Blank inside the ring. He's got a baseball bat. It's Damian Black with it. Uh oh, he's got the mandible claw on Blank. And that kick out of two. He's got it a second time. It looks like Blank is now fighting out of it. Now going on the outside, twisted now. Going at the Z. And oh my goodness. Damian Black saving his partner. And now Blank attacking Damian Black with a baseball bat. And, uh oh, the man of claw now on Z. Kick out. And oh my god, Damian Black. Kick out. Oh, kick. And the German suplex breaks the pin. Z now on the outside. Swing blade. And now Damian Black going after his partner now. Ooh. Right now with a good combo. Damian Black able to counter. Ooh, fist. And right now, this rapid firing. Now the Kendo stick. Ooh. Now Twisted going after Z. Ooh. The elbow drop. Now Z able to counter. Counter. Suplex. Ooh. Now he's just chilling. Now attacking the leg is twisted. Nope. Ooh. Damien Black saves the match. Oh, he sends him to Blake, and Blake just falls. And now the mandible claw. And a kick out. Oh. Uh-oh. And the elbows. Ooh.
Oh, going for the counter. Oh, the elbow. Now, twist it. Ooh. Now, Damian Black with a steel chair. Uh oh. And he hits twisted in the head. And now here goes Blank to win in up that band. And now Z with a ladder. Sweet chin music connects. And Z saves the match. And the face off. One, two, and three. Blank wins the match and qualifies. Picks up the win, and now he goes to qualify for the million dollar championship match. We are now here. We've made it the last matchup in the qualifiers Phantom versus Logan, Sama Gang versus Waffle Gang. Who is going to be that last entry into the chamber? This is getting too thrillistic. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland. Weighing in at 191 pounds. The Cruiserweight Champion, the Phantom, Jay Durr. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 178 pounds, Logan. These are the last two left. One of them has to win this match. Who will it be? And Logan 101 winner goes on to qualify for the elimination chamber who is it going to be oh Phantom with a counter it's Logan oh I'm trying to make a move off the middle rope Logan able to duck now he's going in kick and he got a rope drop second one Third one connects. Stump on the arm. Uh-oh. And the elbow. Oh, the knee. Oh, Logan able to duck. Oh, ran him with a counter.
Oh oh. There you go, And the face buster. One, two, and a kick out of two. Yeah. And, oh, one in close line. And the super kick. Look at go for the pair. One, two, and the kick out of two. Yeah. And Logan now face buster. Yeah. And Phantom with the. Try to go for the brain buster, but Logan now able to counter that one. And now Logan zigzag. Is this it? Does Logan have it? The kick out. What was Logan thinking of here? Oh, Logan might have a second one. Oh, counter by Phantom. And now Phantom sent to the outside by Logan. Logan now going top rope. And what's he thinking here? Crossbody. Try to go for the elbow drop, but Phantom able to roll. Oh, come Shadow. Try to make sure nothing crazy happens. Oh, a time to drop. He sends him right into the apron. Stomp to the leg. Now Hurricane Rana. Sweeps the leg. And the refs counts at six. And looks like Logan gets back inside the ring as quick as he can. And now Josh! Josh! Tried to send Phantom back inside the ring. He just touched him. I don't know if the ref is gonna try to file a disqualification for that one. And now Logan sends Phantom back outside. Why? And now Josh picking up Phantom. Logan now with a German suplex. And now Phantom counters. And oh, he might have it here. Can he get it? There's the Phantom Scythe. One, two, and a kick out of two and a half. Phantom cannot believe it. He's acting like he doesn't have another one in the arsenal. He's going to have to try to see if he can get it off. And the second Phantom Scythe. One, two, and three. Phantom qualifies. Phantom qualifies for this match, and he is the last person with his slot in the Elimination Chamber. And now we move on to the next match. These last two matches are qualifiers for the Insanity World Championship Elimination Chamber match. First match being Dabi Uchiha, along with Spirit and their new manager, Aritsu, 
taking on Nick Taro with Sage in his corner. As Sage, oh, as Sage is congratulated for qualifying for this for the for the million dollar championship match. So let's see which one of these guys is going to get that opportunity of a lifetime to become a world champion. Can Dobby receive his third world title? Will Antaro go on to go capture his first title? Dobby goes a long way into his career. Four-time cruiserweight champion, two-time world champion, longest reigning tag team champion along with Spirit. This career is definitely undefying. One of the most greatest careers we have ever seen from anybody here in ICW. Can Dobby keep that motivation up and win himself another world title match and his opponent accompanied by the superstar from New York Weighing in at 275 pounds, the superstar, Nick Taro, former tag team champion, a world tag team champion along with Sage, has never won a world title. He's been entering the world title picture before, so this is probably the first time ever in a while we've ever seen it. So I told Nick Taro can make the most of it and hope that he can achieve his dream by being Dobby here tonight. Follow the path of Sage, who became a million dollar champion, went to go cash in the million dollar title on Flash Rebel to become Insanity World Champion. Dobby, Nick Taro, one on one. Let's see how this goes. Oh, the kick to the back already. Dobby is pretty fast paced. We have to make sure that, oh my goodness, to make sure Dobby can keep Nick Taro on his toes as long as he can. If he can do that, then he obviously might have an advantage here in this matchup. But Nick Taro, definitely a very resilient person. Oh my god. And Nectaro now. Oh, German suplex. Now Nectaro delivering the punches to the face of Dobby. Dobby now with the kick. And now the clothesline. He gets a second one. Dobby on fire right now, gaining the momentum that he needs. One for the pin as fast as he can. One, two, and a kick out of two. And 
Phoenix Fire GC. And Dobby already going in. Going in with Dobby's firewall. So won't break the. And ooh! The backbreaker. Jesus Christ. And now Nick Taro going in on the stomps. Stomp after stomp attacking every joint. And now Nick Taro with the punches. And Davi able to counter. Davi trying to go for a moonsault. Nick Taro rolled out of the way. What's Nick Taro thinking here? Drops him on the turnbuckle. And now Stefan. Gotta be able to counter. And now Nick Toro's got him back up. Drops him on the turnbuckle. And oh, gotta be able to counter. Somehow. DDT. Phoenix Fire Jutsu. And now, going for the pin. One, two, and three. Dobby picks up the win, but Nictaro had his hand on the rope. Picks up the win and will advance on to the Insanity World Championship Elimination Chamber match. And this was a match that wasn't even supposed to exist. But because Ryvan is injured and is unable to compete, we had to find someone that is a last minute replacement. And somehow this man came about. Lone Wolf, who was completely excited to fight Ryvan because they both came from the ground up from being in the undercar rookie division to the cruiserweight division and for them now to have their opportunity to be in the insanity world championship elimination chamber match it was their dream to fight for something like this but architect had to fuck it all up and now it'll be lone wolf and the architect one-on-one -on -one for an opportunity inside the elimination chamber with Architect's second chance on the line. The He's going to have to go up against the animalistic Lone Wolf though. Making his way to the ring from every man's nightmare. Weighing in at 178 pounds, the Gladiator, Youngblood, Wolf. His opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 240 pounds, our Angel. That is the face of just a douchebag, bro. That's the face of a man that fucked up somebody's opportunity just to get his hands on what he clearly wants. But Architect is no doubt a tough wrestler. But by God, he just has the face of an asshole. And he's done a lot of asshole things too. Retired Jester. Defeated him in the match that he made famous.
held the United States title for the longest reigning time ever. He's also a former Toxicity Tag Team Champion with the Barbarian. And then he sent out the Barbarian to attack me during our match. Luckily, I won. Jesus Christ. All right. Matchup begins. Lone Wolf versus the Architect. Let's see what happens here tonight. Lone Wolf definitely upset with the Architect. He's definitely going to get his revenge some way, somehow. And oh my goodness. And the Lone Wolf now retaliating every, every single bit of anger that he has against the Architect. And now the Architect with a neck breaker. Uh oh. Architect now, what is he thinking? He's mocking the rock now with the people's moon salt right into the knees. And ooh, thrown like a rag dog. Kick to the back now. Architect now head button. Kick to the back. And he jumps off the ropes right into a crossbody. Now Architect going up the ropes. What is he thinking here? Phoenix Flash right onto the knees. Uh, uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is way too early. Wait a minute. Why is the Barbarian? You can hear the Barbarian's music playing. A Barbarian! Right behind the lone wolf again. Oh my god. And it's a choke slam. And now Architect crawling. He's now getting up. Going to the pin. One. Two. Oh my god. Lone wolf kicks out. That was very, very disgraceful. Why? Look, Architect even trying to find his way into doing this. And oh my god, Low Wolf able to counter. And oh, and Low Wolf now finding his presence once again for howling at the moon. Going for the pin now. One, two, and the kick out of two. Now what's Lone Wolf trying to do here? He's thinking, ooh, punch to the head. Now attacking the back. Keeps hitting the back. Now an axe handle. He hits the second one, sends Architect down. Oh, and the knee hits the face. Now he's attacking the leg. Oh, and Architect now counters, hits a suplex. I know Architect's definitely upset right now. He's trying to figure something out, find a way to take down the Lone Wolf. And oh, I don't know what he tried to go for, but he missed it. And oh, knee to the face. Deadlift. Oh! One, two, and a kick out of two. And he's calling it. Lone Wolf. Howling at the moon. One, two, and three. The Lone Wolf able to pick up the win. Here is your winner, the Gladiator, Youngblood Wolf. Looks like Lone Wolf got his revenge.
you know, now qualify for the elimination chamber. Jesus. All right. And now we've made it to the main event. All six women that have qualified for the ICW Women's Championship Elimination Chamber match will fight in a battle royal. And the last woman in that ring will be the last entry inside the Elimination Chamber. The following contest is a six-woman battle royal making her way to the ring from Albuquerque, New Mexico, Jessica Jackson. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, UD.
from Honolulu, Hawaii, AK-47. From Las Vegas, Nevada, the Women's Internet Continental Wrestling Champion, Tammy Young. Alright, the six women battle royal. Let's see who is going to be the last woman in the animation chamber. They are going at it right now. Is this a preview of what we're going to see at the chamber? Our uh, champion's dungeon. And nine is the first eliminated. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a Jackson with the quick combos. Jessica Jackson is out of there. A competitor has been eliminated. Ooh.
The primary is out of there. A competitor has been eliminated. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's looking at it. Oh my god, the quick strikes too. Oh, ooh, attacking that only. Oh, quick strikes. Oh, fairy tale ending. Encountering each other left and right right now. And nobody even get eliminated yet. Oh, the knee of truth. <laughs> Another knee of truth connects. Oh my god. And these guys are just in demolishing each other and not even in the same elimination yet. Uh-oh. 
an F5 commit. And oh, it looks like she ain't done. Here's a second F5. Oh, there she goes. Can she get over the ropes? And Tanya Young, the champion, is out of there. A competitor has been eliminated. Now this is down to these two. Who's going to get the last spot? Oh, and now she's got that arm locked in. Got that arm bar. She's tapping out, but that does not matter in this match. You have to throw your opponent over the ropes. Ooh. And oh, she almost went over the top. And Undead is the last person inside of the chamber. Here is your winner, UDXO! Congratulations to Undead picking up that win. Definitely a huge W. All right, y'all. Ah! am out of here i'm tired <laughs> so that was a good show i appreciate those who stopped by came and watching appreciate the follows appreciate everything else and i will see all of you probably next time so until then you're